welcome back. Time for a double header. We've got two amazing performances coming your way and perfect time. Uh, I think the world wants to unite now more than ever before. And here in South Africa, we have that opportunity. And joining us on the stage is Anvali Koyate and his incredible band, his little collective who are made of feel-good energy. Yes. So I think you've found a home here, my friend. Uh, thank you so much for joining us for... for I want to say gifting us with your talent, but there seems to be an emotion involved in playing this instrument. How much of this is learned skill and how much is intuitive just embracing it in the moment? Well, um, this is my um, ancestor um, instrument, but this is not ancestors. This is uh, the new... It's been updated. <laughs> yeah. But the, the Kora is a um, um, West African harp, but ancestors... Long time we played that for the king and uh, storytelling, and but now we can do uh, everything with. And you're still telling some very powerful stories with it. Mm -hmm. I absolutely love the fact that we get to see this live in the space in a very organic way as these performances unfold. Mm -hmm. When you guys perform as a collective, is it different every time you come together? There seems to be such a vibrant energy when your energies connect. Mm. It must be like doing this from fresh every time you do it. Um, the, <coughs> um, usually, uh, the, the audience gives us the energy. We share the energy. Uh, energy, yes, it's very important. And this uh, project is Afrotronic. We mix uh, traditional instruments with the um, very, very uh, new, uh, like Hansonic, we mix them to to bring the energy more. <laughs> um, no, completely. And it's also, it's introducing mm. culture and history in a way that people can access it and connect to it now more than ever. Yeah. We, we have legions of singer-songwriters yeah. out there, young people that are creating music. Maybe COVID gave us that gap where people could concentrate on the art, yeah. on writing songs, on creating. Yeah. It feels like we are obviously focused on heritage right now, but it yeah. feels different. Do you feel music has changed after these last few years? The way we appreciate it yeah. certainly has. Yeah. Does playing music feel different now? Um, yes, they're more different. But for me, my feeling is will be uh, you can't close your eyes to the modernity. 100%. Not possible. But you can use the, the modern to carry the traditional. That's my way. We use um, the technology, um, uh, computer, electronic, to make another valor for on our instrument, a traditional instrument like djembe, calabas, and kora. Uh, because you can use that. That's my experience. We, um, we make some, I uh, invent another style of music, the Afrotronics, Afroelectronic. I love it. This is well, I mean, unfortunately, I'd love to say that yeah, we can keep those two apart. TikTok won't let us, man. We've got to have tech and we've got to allow generations now yeah. to embrace the past, which yeah. means that this is going to exist for 100 more years, which yeah. is beautiful. Yeah. I'm going to let you do what you do best and pump that energy out. Yep. Thank you once again for being here. And Fali is about to, to perform right now with his incredible, very energetic collective. And they're doing a song that is going to matter to all of us. It's mm -hmm. Mandela. Take yeah. it away. Enjoy. Yes, 
amazing day so thank you to you what, thank a, you what an incredible day thank you to all of our guests we did it all man absolutely beautiful and the best part we get to do it all over again tomorrow for a book friday oh, baby. Mm -hmm. i feel like we need a, a, a bit more i don't know what it is i, I think flow. i need a hot. flow out of the day yeah I'm i need some free water mm. which happens to be an Amphali song so let's do that love you Yeah. 